Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, uh, kings, queens, and those in between. I'm your host, Pop. We need a better introduction. <sighs> Remind me why you're here again. You would have flunked 11th grade biology if it weren't for me. Lynn, it's been five years since then. You haven't said a word to me since grad. You. Wait, are you still recording? It's okay. I'll be editing it all later tonight. It's easier to just cut stuff out. <sighs> all right. Listen. Think of this as strictly a business arrangement. What? Just think it's stupid. By all means, it's a reasonable request. What I'm doing is lending a friend a favor. We are not friends. <laughs> Estranged, maybe. Whatever. People, yeah? They tune into your show. I have no idea why, but they do. And I... I really need... What? I need your audience <laughs> the great madeline stop Marsh. clutching your heart like that asking for help god i, I don't know what i'm i should just wait wait, wait 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 marsh wait stop okay okay stop don't leave this is important to you isn't it i mean you haven't told me much but if you want this to be a business arrangement I can do that. I can pretend I don't know you. It'll be clinical. Just the way you want. Okay? This is my last resort. I know. Okay, I think we've done enough stalling. I need to meet with someone on campus in 30 minutes. That's fine. You're not uncomfortable in that chair? Hmm. It is hideous. For someone uh. as successful as you, this place is a complete dump. And welcome back to another episode of The Spectacular and the Supernatural. I'm your host, Pablo, and here with me today, a rare occurrence on this show, is a guest. Ahem. <clears throat> Hello, Pablo. Um, my name is Emily, and I have an issue I hope you can solve. All right. For the sake of time, I think it's best I play a recording. When would you say these dreams began? I, I don't... I think maybe a month ago? And have you been sleeping? Yes. Uh, no. I sleep during the day, over at my friend's house, or the library. In between classes. Hmm. Tell me more about them. Sorry? The dreams. You haven't given me any specifics. Well, I... They're not really dreams. More like... Hallucinations. I don't always happen at night, but... I feel safer during the day for some reason. <laughs> I'm going to sound like a... Like a crazy person. Madeline, this is a judgment-free zone. Call me Lynn. There's, there's always this boy. He's around seven years old, but his eyes look older than a thousand. And, and when I wake up from, from whatever hallucination or vision I have, I can never remember his face. Nothing about his features. But I know he looks like me. I feel like I know him. But when I try to recall anything, my chest starts burning. Like someone sunk a red hot poker through my heart. It throbs. And since I started seeing him, I... Things have been happening to me. Really weird. Really strange. Bizarre things. Strange? Like what? Like... I'll wake up and... I'll be facing the door in my basement and the door will be flung open and the light overhead will be flickering. I'll check the time and it's 1 a.m. Or, or I'll leave my laptop open in my bedroom and go to pee. But when I come back, my door has been locked closed. When I finally pry it open, I search my entire room front, back, front to back for my laptop. 
only to finally find it in my closet under four stacks of folded laundry I know I never touched. Strange, like, like that. I see. But I'm not crazy. I know I'm... Of course not. Pablo. How do I turn it off? How do I... Give it here, here, give it here. Somebody, help! Help! Pablo, turn it off right now. I'm trying, I can't. I don't sunset. I don't know. So that never happened to me. What the heck was that? Or at least I can't recall. But you need his help. The police won't be able to do anything about it. They'll think you're crazy. Why does this sound like you know that firsthand? A story for another time. Maybe. Lynn, Madeline, open your eyes. I'll help you. You, you will? Yeah, I can try. For the rest of Lynn and Pablo's story, tune in on Spotify July 9th when Madeline's Mystery will begin airing.